Sing with me. I know you will not respond. But it's okay. It's okay. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. You know the average believer in Nigeria sees prosperity as a mark of alignment with God. If you have some. The reason why you have money to show, you have a house to show, you have a property to show, uh, it's a sign that God is pleased with me. Hallelujah. Hmm. I'm going to show you from the Bible people that were in alignment with God, but what came to them was not prosperity, persecution was what came to them. Are you with me? I, I know you don't know persecution. Believers in Lagos, I know you don't know it. You don't know what we're talking about. You have never been asked to deny Jesus so that you can live. It has never happened to you. You never come close range with a situation that will challenge your faith. So you don't know what we're talking about. But you see, we need to intercede quickly. So that we don't have experiences of things that we don't like. Because I've been there before. I've been there before. I was almost killed. Then when you get back home, if you survive it and you get back home, you now think, okay, what exactly is Christianity for which I am I was almost killed? You would think, you would reason, you would try to find out what is it about? Is it the dancing we dance in church or what is it that the devil is so afraid of? That he wants me dead what what part of christianity the part of christianity that satan is afraid of is that you come to the realization of the fact that you were created by him for him not for yourself but for him are you there you would think like that someone like michael jackson because he's a great singer hip-hop singer when he gives his life to christ that god will use him in the choir you'll be amazed that god's definition of how he should have lived his life had nothing to do with singing it is only when you meet jesus that you will realize what what how you were expected to live for him may the lord help us in the name of jesus next verse there and I'll run back. He say he's before all things, and by him all things consist. The meaning of everything can only be sourced in him. Now the question is, have you found the meaning of your own life? Have you found it? Have you found the meaning? By the grace of God, as I grew in the Lord, I found a few abilities that God made available to me to function in. Right? Few abilities. If I get my man on the keyboard, I can begin to pick things prophetically and, and use it and bless you. I can do that for three hours, just speaking, blessing people. We do that sometimes, you know. But you see, my assignment from Jesus, what Jesus created me to do, in terms of my own definition for my own life, what living for him is for my life, is that he created me to build capacity in the body of Christ. Now, even though I have more abilities, all right? Uh, those abilities are not as important as you see the bible says that in him all things consist that's where the everything gets its relevance derives its relevance derives its recognition from it is in him are you there so i would like to stay in that place of fulfilling what he apprehended me to be according to his own definition not according to the definition of success in my generation but according to the definition of the christ next verse as i round up on this matter he is the head of the body just in case you say okay i'm not just 
in the physical creation i'm a member of the body of christ the bible says he is the head of that body that organism that god will have to possess in order for him to carry out activities upon the face of the earth he heads that body are you there all right the bible went further to define what the church is in this but i don't want to go there who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead and why all of this arrangement that in all things he might have what the prayer minute that's the objective of the book of colossians that if you have not found adonai master you are operating on a philosophy of mutation if you have not found the master so god set up everything and structured the administration of things in such a way that he will be in the pinnacle of the civilization of god the reason why this framework was set in place is because god wants everything to reflect him in fact i don't have time to take you to the book of ephesians to show you that the place where his throne is domiciled in heaven is the highest part of heaven and the reason for which god deliberately installed his administration at that point in zion is because god intends to fill all things if you go to the book of ephesians where god now unveils to us his, his eternal purpose and what he will be preoccupied attempting to achieve throughout time in ephesians chapter 1 verse 10 it shows us what god will be doing for all of time give me that scripture ephesians 1 10 that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in christ that means are you there oh you're not with me you see this administration that jesus sits on it will interest you to know that 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 title christ talks about a ministry that title christ talks about an office and the occupant of that office is jesus that that office is an administration an administration that manages everything that is in the kingdom of god are you are you following me you see if god cannot exercise his authority in your life it means god cannot accomplish his divine purpose in your life if god must accomplish his divine purpose in your life what he needs to do is to set up an administration that can exact authority over your life if god cannot exact authority over your life it means that god cannot accomplish his divine purpose through your life adam was created in the image and in the likeness of god why was adam created in the image of god he was created in the image of god so that he can be a carrier of delegated authority from the realm of god he himself will need to be in alignment with god in order for him to reflect that dimension of authority and that is captured in the book of psalms 82 beginning from verse 1 to verse 5 he says i have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high god but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes that was the consequence of the fall of man is one of them is mortality mortality but initially god's vision was that we should function like authorities that have capacity to implement the dominion mandate and the way he says we have access to authority is that we need to be children of the most high god submitted under the framework of authority that governs the heavens even now are you still with me so if god cannot exercise his authority over your life i must i'm sorry he cannot accomplish his divine purpose through your life 